emit from texture. That's a good thing. That's a funny thing to do. Almost forgot. Uh, do I like nice? Let's download some picture or something. Some graphics. Do you have any graphics? I'll just choose one picture of those. Oh, this is great. Open, save image, and. All right, <coughs> and now we go to Maya. Create, uh, create a plane. <coughs> and then apply shader on it. Create a new shader. Go and get the color from that image we got. Just download it. Sign. Now we can see it. We can make it more proportionally. And now let's emit particles from it. So we go particle, create emit from object. And here we choose surface. All right. Create. We got our particles here. And then let's make them spheres so we can see them better. Make them a bit smaller. Current render type and then radius 0.1. No, 0.1. Okay. And let's emit some more than 100. Make it 600. All right, and then here, scroll all the way down. You go to texture emission attributes, and you can enable, uh, you can say inherit, inherit color here. And we can put, plug in our particle color, our picture there. And just middle mouse, drag it over, particle color is here. Try to render it. No. Sometimes metal ray doesn't open. Let me see, light metal ray. No, maybe it's the wrong format. Okay, never mind. Forgot about that. Let me just show you the uh, what you can do with the texture rate. So I'll break this thing. Break connections. Texture rate, and we go and get our star file. Since it's black and white, and it's IFF, so it'll be easy for my. So now, uh -huh. meter, and it says enable texture rate. Right here on the bottom, 
if you click if you click it there oh no crash crash what it does it emits only it emits only from white so if you have a, you can make animated sick you have you can create sequence uh, of frames and then it, it will only emit from white so you can make like a, all kind of effects with that especially you know uh, abstract ones no I'm, it's crashed works quick all right plane Particles, dynamics okay here. Particle emits from object. Uh, surface. It's 600. All right, that's our particles. <coughs> Make them spheres again. Point one size, and now in the emission type, we go to emitter, click emitter, scroll all the way down. It has texture rate. Select, get our picture, which is a star. All right, and now click on the emitter part. Where is our emitter? Click on the meter and then enable texture rate. See what happens? We can do it, uh, see it better if we uh, increase the particle rate. So let's put 1200 per second. Uh huh. That's our star right there. So it's being emitted from that uh, image. And if you create, uh, if you create a sequence of hundred images, then it will be moved to. It'll be like. All right. So that's a use, useful attribute. <clears throat> okay. Particles also uh, can be baked like dynamics. So if you have fill, like add some turbulence and some get some turbulence and then get yeah, that's fine. So if you select our particles, it's very important to bake them before you render. Because sometimes, for example, you, you, you want to render them. For, ah, particles also have initial state, like we did with the, with the wall. When we built a brick wall, we wanted to settle down, and then we start initial state. So particles, and we go to solver, initial state, set for selected. You see, when they rewind, they, they kept the same shape. Now, let's bake them. Let's cache them. They don't, they don't bake particles, you cache them. So solvers, memory caching, and then uh, solvers, uh, create particle disk cache. Click the options, cache selected, or in this case, it could be all, it doesn't matter. So uh, use render settings, cache directory. Okay, create. Uh, wait, let's save that scene. All right, select particles, solvers, and then we go to uh, create particle disk cache. Okay, we have our name already here, and then create. All right. 
So what happens? That's it. So you can go back and forth. You can render it. You can render from 100 from frame 300 to 400. It doesn't have to. Maya doesn't have to calculate the simulation no more. You got the particles cached, and you can, for example, you can put them in, inside lattice. You know those deformers, the animation deformers that you have. Animation. Where is that? Uh, that's just one of those uh, tips. Um, <coughs> I don't see the menu. Yeah, uh, Okay, here you go. Yeah. Let's do lattice, right? So we can do create, you know, select points. See now I can bend and twist it or if you you just wanna if you just wanna bend it. Remove that lattice. Right here. And then we go and say, we want to just bend it. And then we're going to create deformers. Bend. And we'll bend all those particles by hand. And now, since it's cached, you don't have to simulate anything. See how I go? Awesome. And then you can tweak it here. You can tweak your curvature. So that's one of those. And the other way, this is one of those tricks. OK, that's about, that's about caching and uh, some post-dynamics post effect.